Hello everyone! Welcome to this week's devlog for Revival. Although this week we're going to be doing a dev diary, going a little bit more in depth than usual on things. I have a quality of life feature that I would like to share with you guys that we have planned for Revival. Uh, this is one of many, but this one in particular, it was requested by KVT, and I actually want to make the data pack public so that way you can use it in your map or your playthroughs as well. Oftentimes when you come back to your base here, you see our lovely base, You'll have a bunch of shulkers from your adventure, but you have a ton of stuff plugging your inventory. You don't want to have to take the time to go through all of these and only use so much space. And then, you know, you have your chests, maybe they're disorganized. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of blocks everywhere. You know, you've been taking stacks from all over the place here. The solution I have to this is this little guy right over here. So his name is Froggers. Make sure to say hi. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click him, just like it tells us to do here. Oh, snap. And as you can see, that has gone ahead and stored our inventory inside of Mr. Frog over here. Uh, what's going to happen is that now I can go ahead, I can go through my shulkers, I can go organize my chests in order to make things nice and pretty. I have all the inventory space in the world. And then when I'm done, I go ahead and click them again. And there we go. I've got all my stuff back. But there's a second feature of this that I want to show you as well, and that's this stick right here, the sorting stick. And basically what it allows us to do is open a chest to sort it. So here, for example, we've got two chests, the double chest. So if we go ahead and click, you can see that not only does it put them all basically side by side, but it also organizes them by stack size. Go ahead and do it for the other chest here. So just like that, with two clicks, our entire double chest is organized. Now this does work on barrels as well. So right here, you can see it went ahead and sorted all of that. In this case, it can sort stackable items and it will stack them up to 64. So that is something you're gonna have to bear in mind if you're gonna add this to your own map, that should be pretty easy to change though. In, in this case, it actually is helpful because there's a few cases where we want players to be able to stack repeat items. I'm gonna go ahead and the frog again right here. And I'll go ahead and dig into the code just a tiny bit to show you guys how to modify this for your own. All right, so we've got the code right here. And as you can see, it's very, very easy. There's there's a main ticking function that basically all it's doing is it's checking for this trigger. And basically that's a scoreboard called base source. So if I go back in game here, for example, and I just were to trigger base sorter, it's gonna go ahead and enable and disable this right here. So you might have to add some extra lines here if you want to make sure that the player can't activate this in certain places. And you could also tie it to an in-game event. For example, right here, I have it tied to this frog. So whenever you hit the frog, it goes ahead and increments the score and reads or writes your inventory. Now, the second feature of this data pack is the sorting mechanism. And basically what it's doing is there's two advancements and it's checking for when you click a chest with an item that has this MBT. Based sorter 1b. One of these advancements is for if you have the item in your offhand, and one of these advancements is if you have the item in your main hand. So that should make base sorting a little bit easier for you. Now, you can change this MBT to be whatever you want for your map. You can even change the stick itself. You could add some extra code to clear it just as a fail safe so that my players don't bring it around the map. That's what I had them doing here for revival. And then lastly, you might want to just remove this MBT tag entirely so that way any chest you open gets automatically sorted. This might be useful if you are playing a CTM app and you want the chests in particular to be auto sorted. I know, for example, Quilver likes that in his playthroughs. This might be a nice feature for him. But that's about all for now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are looking forward to the map. Everything should be pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. There might be a few bugs. If there are, just let me know and I'll fix it. The download link will be the same if I fix any bugs, just for future reference. Till next week, hope you guys have a good one.